I helped a plumber change the um, the valves on the radiators at Dad's house in about, I think it was about 2016. And some of them, they, but we had to take the whole unions out the pipes, out the, out the radiators to get the valves out. And they'd been in since 68 and they were rusted in solid and it took two of us to undo them with it with a big wrench. And he, he was an experienced plumber and even even he was saying they were tight. But I mean, I'm on a bucket full of about, I think it's meant, it's only really the drive shaft nuts on my car you have to go up to 150 pounds per foot so if you have a bar a foot long you have to put 150 pounds of force onto it well yeah that would no pounds force you know i don't know um imperial but it would be newtons and not meat and not um and not kilos but um yeah you multiply by 9.812 to get it into force to take into account the force of gravity but um yeah i mean um yeah, they're 150 pounds per foot, those um, hub nuts. And um, I think I have done them here. But on, on Dad's drive, it was sort of like at an angle like that. And I actually moved the car up the drive, tightening them with a wrench. It was in gear, the handbrake was on, and it, I moved it up the drive, tightening the hub nuts. And those aren't really tight, 150 pounds per foot. What was it? On the Metro Works Rally cars, Mini Metro Works Rally cars, Four hundred and fifty pounds per foot to me—that's an enormous torque. And I saw the spanner they used to use to use to do it. It was six foot long, a six foot long torque wrench, and we were using it to um, to put sapphire um, sapphire anti roll bars onto Sierras to give them a bit of yeah. Because we, we yeah no we put we put sapphire bottom arms onto Sierras to give them a bit of negative camber. Because they were a bit longer, but we had, for some reason we had to use the, the Sierra anti roll bars, and it, it, we bent that torque wrench because we were using it ninety degrees to where it should be, and we bent it. I think it was three of us pushing down on the torque wrench, and I think it was three pulling on a rope to get the um, to get the the roll bar anti roll bar to go into into position on the on the uh, bottom arms because it went through a hole, and that's how that's how difficult it was because you had to bend the the um, the anti-roll bar to get it to go into position.